Ready. Play. Carlos Alcaraz, Tommy Paul uh, is the other match tomorrow in terms of the men's quarterfinals. Uh, what are your thoughts on this one? I think Tommy Paul wins at least two sets. Ooh. I think Tommy Paul has shown an ability to frustrate Alcaraz. Alcaraz has not looked amazing this tournament. He found the level required to to, to get past Tiafo when he was on the ropes. Um, but like dropping that set against Dumbert... He can't afford to lose concentration against Tommy Paul, who is a player who can trouble him on quick courts. And for that reason, I think I have more confidence in Alcaraz will do something similar to what he did against Tiafo, where he will lock in and he will um, um, he will lock in and and get the job done. Maybe he'll like uh, maybe especially in a fifth, but I could see him doing again two sets to one to come back again. But I think Tommy Paul will give him a right headache. I'm edging Alcaraz in five. I'm edging Alcaraz too. Um, I don't know if it'll go four or five, but I, I, I think you're right. There is something about the way Tommy plays. Tommy does seem to have, be a bit of a problem for certain players on the tour. And I think Carlos Alcaraz, I think he'll always be a thorn in his side. If we look at uh, one of those Alcaraz wins, by the way, coming in three sets and I mean, if you looked at this just between two players and you knew nothing about them, you would just go, oh, these two players seem pretty evenly matched. And to be honest with you, whenever they play, they are evenly matched. Those two matches that came in quick succession um, last year in, 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 in Canada and Cincinnati, back to back, you know, maybe the first one caught us a bit by surprise. But then actually when it went into the next one, you're thinking, OK, I can I can see this being extremely exciting. And of course, it was. It went into a third set. And. Yeah, and I, I, Tommy Paul on the grass is certainly a thing. He's unbeaten now. I think, is it 10 matches? Something like that across these two tournaments at Queen's and Wimbledon. So, uh, Paul? Tommy Paul. Yeah, Tommy Paul's on a winning streak, yeah. Yeah, so he's on a winning streak of, I, I, I think I said 10 matches at five. Yeah, that's, that would be, it'd be nine, I think, because you have to win. Right, nine matches. No, it's the last 32 at Queen's, so last 32, 16. Yeah, you have to win five matches to win Queen's, and he's won four to get to the quarterfinal, so nine. Indeed. So I never feel as though attrition is an issue for Tommy Paul. There was a match recently he went into a fifth set and I thought he's winning this, although I think that was more of a mental battle than a physical one with um, Vertanen um, last week. We both basically said Alcaraz, Tommy Paul's going to cause him all sorts of problems. It's going to be a headache, but yeah. he will proceed and will play Yannick Sinner in the semis.